Hello friends, Ashish here from Guiding Tech and welcome back to Photo Fridays. Now in this video today, we are going to do a quick review of the Redmi Note 3 camera and later on have a look at some of the sample shots and videos I shot using the phone. Now for the starters, this introduction right here is being captured through the Redmi Note camera along with the audio itself. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a complete look. So friends, starting with the hardware and at the back you get a 16 megapixel camera with a dual tone LED flash and at the front you get a 5 megapixel camera. Now we'll just go ahead and unlock the device and then launch the default camera app. Now the default camera interface is very simple and uh, you get the shutter button, the video mode and the recent photographs along with the quick toggle to turn off and on the flash and here you get the option to uh, swap the cameras. Now in the uh, center you get the option to quickly turn on or off the HDR mode which is quite good if you uh, shoot a lot of photographs outside in bright sunlight. Now about the touch to focus it's actually very quick and uh, as you can see that it's able to focus very easily and if you uh, tap and touch on it it gives you the option to increase or decrease the exposure value. I mean you get similar settings in iPhone also and talking about the similar settings you get on iPhone if you swipe towards your right you get these particular filters and uh, you just need to tap on it and it will be applied in real time and you can just shoot a photo. So let me just go ahead and uh, make it normal again. Now it's just right here okay. Now if you swipe towards your left you get all the options and starting from panorama to timer mode and manual camera we'll get to it later and apart from that you get beauty mode both back and front camera the tilt shift and the scene mode which actually gives you all the portrait landscape sports and night mode so let me just tap on it again and uh, decrease this particular exposure value okay here you go so apart from that going back to the manual mode here you get the option just to increase or decrease the ISO value or change the white balance. Uh, you don't get the option of manual focus uh, and the exposure control uh, is always there either in auto or manual mode. So uh, moving ahead on to the settings, uh, you just need to swipe towards the right and there, here are your settings. While the Redmi Note 3 was launched, it was mentioned that the uh, fingerprint sensor can be used as a shutter button but I haven't found any such settings in the current version. I'm, I'm not sure about the future updates but right now there is no feature as to you can use the shutter button to take photographs from the selfie camera or from the back camera. So uh, apart from that you get all the other options like uh, enable or disable the geotagging, the time watermark, uh, the grid lines and you can also scan QR code and then read the value directly using the camera app. So apart from that, uh, when you move on to the video settings, you get the option of full HD, HD mode and there is no option to actually record in 4K. Now here you go and as you can see there is the standard definition uh, HD and full HD. Now if you select HD mode, uh, I did find something interesting that the slow motion and time lapse both can be shot using the video camera. But if you select uh, the full HD mode, uh, you cannot shoot the slow motion videos but the time lapse would be there. So I'm not sure uh, I mean why exactly you cannot sh uh, shoot slow motion but this is what you get and, uh, and of course there is no 4k video recording at the moment. So friends that was uh, more or less everything that you get in the Redmi Note 3 default camera app. So let me just go ahead and uh, show you some of the sample photographs that I shot using this device. All in all, the Redmi Note 3 camera is worth what you pay for the device. Outdoor shooting in ample amount of light gives you good shots and the HDR mode also works great. However, in low lighting, uh, I did notice some noise in the photographs which became even worse in the night mode photographs. Same is the story with the selfie shots using the front camera. Good light, you get awesome photos. But in low light, you don't get that great selfies. Now for those who might be wondering, the camera is better than what you get on the LA1S 
but then it's uh, just an initial thought that I had but I would have to make a full comparison video to be sure about that. So guys that was the quick camera review of the Redmi Note 3 and I hope you liked the video and enjoyed watching it. Now this particular conclusion has been shot using the front camera along with the audio itself. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you like the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. This is Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next videos. Till then take care and have a wonderful day.